What's going on ladies and gentlemen? And today is July 27th, 2018. Now, if you're listening to my previous videos, I told you a corrective wave was inbound. Okay? And I told you also said the only things that could keep pushing it up is new investors and the volume increases. Now, the market cap right now is 298 billion. It's still hovering around 300 billion. Uh, yesterday, 24-hour volume was 14 billion, and right now it's 17.5 billion. So the 24-hour volume went up a little bit. Okay. And another thing I want to add is Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance yesterday was 46.9 percent. Right now it's 47.3 percent. Remember, when Bitcoin dominance goes up, it's getting all the attention, it's getting all the love, and the altcoins are getting left in the dust. Okay. But the altcoins will return to glory. Believe me. So, let's look at some charts. I'm going to keep this analysis quick. Okay. I do have a few things I got to do for the weekend. So, we're going to do a quick update on the crypto market right now. So, let's start off with Bitcoin. I'm going to do a... First, let's do the daily chart. Actually, you know what? We're going to do a four-hour candle chart. Okay. So... Now, first thing I want to start off with, let's do a Fibonacci retracement. Okay, from so from this bear wave, this long bear wave down to where we are right now, as you can see, let me pull my brush out. So, as you can see, Right here, we're hitting a, a resistance at 8,500, right? And that's, I told you guys, a corrective wave was inbound. And we came and we stopped right here, okay, at 7,800. And as you can see on the Fibonacci retracement, it shows you the levels, right? So boom, just like artwork, it hit that 85 and it went right back down to that 7,800 level, okay? Now it seems to be going back up. Now. I'm still bullish on the market. Okay, look at this volume candle. That's a good bu bullish volume candle. Okay, it looks like on the MACD, might it could be a buy signal forming, right on the momentum. Um, however, I I thought the corrective wave would have gone around to the 7,200 level. Okay, that's why I believed it would have gone by. Okay, especially with the big news, the headlines with the ETF rejection. Now remember, I never go off what the news says. Of course, it does help a little bit, but news is bought and paid for. All it does is spread FUD and FOMO for the big dog investors. So, now, if we breach 8,500, I believe the next stop will be around, uh, let's see, the maybe 9,200, 9,800 98, level, okay? So, so if it breaches, I would not take a position right now if I were you, okay? If it, if it breaches and it breaks 85 and everything's looking bullish, everything's looking good, the, the stars are aligned, it might, it'll be a good time to take a position because let me show you the gains if you took it from the 85 position and sold it at the next resistance, okay? Hold on. Got to clear that. Let me clear this board real quick. So if it goes to the next resistance. You're looking at about a 14% gain. That's humongous. Okay. That's more than beer money. That's a nice fat stack to add to your, your crypto profits. Okay. Now on the other side of the coin, if the volume decreases and investors start to back out the money, the market cap starts going down the next stop. I believe if we don't hit breach 8,500 and the bears get tougher and start pulling down more, I believe the next stop for Bitcoin is 7,200 to the 6,800 area. Okay, 
So right now, I am just waiting to see what happens. Right now, I am neutral. I am yellow. I'm in the medium. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. Is it going to break the resistance level or is it going to plummet? Okay. Now, another thing to factor, a lot of people go off with the news. They People don't know how to trade. They trade by what the news tells them. Right. So they hear this big ETF rejection. They might get scared. Okay. Especially seeing this red candle. Okay. So that's my analysis for Bitcoin as of right now. Um, now, you know, if you look, you got some lower highs. Uh, the bears are looking for a lower high, right? So the bears, people that want it to be bearish, they're looking for this next impulse, this next bump up to not be higher than 8,500. That is a bearish sign. If it if it doesn't, if we see this this price up increase not surpass its predecessor, that's a bearish sign right there, right? Now, if it does pass its predecessor, that's a bullish sign. So remember that. Now let's look at the daily chart real quick. Day, day candles, okay? I want to show you guys something that looks that's pretty cool. This might help you predict the future. Okay, it might. So, we're gonna look inside of this box, okay? Let me get rid of these indicators. Now, I'm gonna split it right down the middle for you. Right, and over here we have this inverse head and shoulders. Right, you see that? Now, if you look at this side, the price increase side to the to the price decrease side, it's a mirror image, right? Doesn't that look like a mirror image? Boom, 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 right? So, if it completes its mirror image, we're gonna see something like this. Until it hits the 9800 level like I was saying that will be a big determination if it's gonna go to the moon so just keep that in mind now if it fails if it fails to breach that 8500 and we could be on a bearish course but my opinion I am still bullish on the market okay so that's my quick Bitcoin analysis for you guys I hope I put it in a way that makes sense to you um, now let's look at EOS. As you guys know, EOS is my number one coin. I love EOS. Okay, look at this. Kind of looks like a possibly inverted head and shoulders pattern might be forming, right? So I'm hoping the all coins haven't been getting much love with the Bitcoin dominance going up, but it will return. Okay, for a healthy crypto market, you need all the coins, the all coins included, to be doing good. Okay, that's a, that's a real healthy market. Um, now again, with Bitcoin dominance is up and all coins down and not getting love, if the market is mooning and it's the future is to the moon, now is a great time to invest in all coins because you know them they're not getting love and they're not getting much action and the price is low. So remember that. So I'm going to keep up to date on what exactly is going on and when I have more information and I have more analysis to give you, let you guys know what I'm doing, I will be sure to let you know. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I would tune in and press subscribe. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Like the videos, okay? If you want me to keep giving you daily doses of what's going on, make sure you like and press subscribe. And remember, I am coming up with courses to, for, for new traders to learn how to trade. Now, with that being said, you guys enjoy your day. I will be giving another analysis later on tonight to let you guys go on. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you.